Okay, I'm taking you on a little journey of the past few years. And what can happen, even when you're a property owner. Um, the first picture you probably saw is what my creek bed looked like before 2016. Um, and then in 2016, fall of 2016, the next pictures you saw was what I came home to. I came home to where the county had came in on private property. Um, they had a, a front loader loading truckloads of gravel out of the creek bed for the county to use. Um, they even cleared their own little path, which you see in the pictures. And then neighbors started coming down and thinking it was okay to remove gravel also. And they cut well within the middle of the creek bed, below the water line, and creeks, they have a way, if left alone, they will repair themselves over time. Here we are in fall of 2018. This right here, what you see, is where the tractor used to be. And this is what it used to look like. It has taken nearly two years for the vegetation to come back to where they had created their path to access the creek bed. And here in a second, I will show you we will walk down here and I will show you what the creek looks like now. Okay, we're back and now you can see this is a photo compared to the first picture of a beautiful creek bed after the damage from neighbors and the county. And now this is what the creek bed looks like today. Um, it has created a gravel bar and the creek is now hugging the side where there's been as extensive damage from floodwaters, which it floods all the time. Everybody knows that. But because of the damage that was done to the creek bed, it's cutting more and more into that side over on that property. And you can see the telephone poles are sitting right on the edge. And they go, and they hit that water, there's no telling what's going to happen. But because of gravel mining, just a minimal amount of gravel mining, this is the damage that it's caused. And instead of the creek flowing down through the middle like it should and going between, I don't know if you can see it, the three pillars of the bridge. It is diverting more and more to bypass the bridge and taking out the road and taking out the property next to it. And this is what has happened. Um, and this is what can happen everywhere. It, things, it's just a absolute, this is what happens when people have no respect for the natural resources and take things because they think they need it, take things that don't belong to them, trespass on private land to access it, to take what they want, and this is what's happening. And that gravel, you're wondering where all that gravel came from. Well, that gravel, it comes from the banks. It starts deteriorating the banks because the creek wants to fill in what was taken from it. So, be aware of what's going on around you because you will lose your property and uh, one day you may not even have a creek to come back home to. <laughs>